Okay, in today's podcast, we're going to look at geometric sequences and hopefully achieve two things. First thing we're hopefully do, we're going to develop a geometric sequence, and you'll see how these sequences are created and formed using a common ratio. And the second one is using patterns to find the general formula for a geometric sequence. So let's look at a specific example. Let's start with a term, u1, and let's say u1 equals 3. Well, u2 then is going to be, start with my first term, and similar to arithmetic where we added a common difference, in a geometric we're not going to add, but rather we're going to multiply by a common ratio. And let's say the common ratio is 2. Well, u3 then is going to be, I take my second term, 3 times 2, and I multiply it again by a common ratio, which is 2. And if I rewrite that, that's the same thing as saying 3 times 2 squared. If I want to find u4, well, that's simply, I take my third term, and I multiply it by 2, which is taking 3 times 2 to the power of 3, because this here gets multiplied by 2. Well, look, so if I look to a u5, for example, I'm going to miss all that middle step and take my third ter fourth term and multiply it by 2 as well. So that's going to be 3 times 2 to the power of 4. Now if I notice, there's a pattern going on here, a 5 and a 4, one less. A 4, my fourth term, exponent 3, one less. So well, so u6 then is going to be 3 times 2, one less, to the power of 5. If I keep on going down here, if I do, let's say, u96, let's say, that's going to be 3 times 2, one less than 96, will be to the power of 95. And so, for this specific geometric sequence, I can say that un is going to be the first term 3 times 2, and the exponent is going to be 1 less. That's for this specific term. To generalize for all geometric sequences, what I could say then is my general term, u sub n, is going to equal to, well, 3 is my first term, so I'll, so I'll call that, generally speaking, u1. 2 is my common ratio, so I'll multiply it by r, and it's to the n minus 1. And this formula here, un equals u1 times r to the n minus 1, this is found in your formula book. And it is the general term, general term for geometric sequences.